Hello, everybody. Today, I'm going to be doing something special, and it is going to be an unboxing video of this thing that I got off of Kickstarter that, honestly, I had forgot about for a while, but then it came in the mail, and now I was like, I should do an unboxing for the channel. And it's a really cool thing, and I'm really excited for it, and it mixes one of my hobbies that I've been talking about that I wanted to work a little bit more into the channel, and that is Dungeons & Dragons. So, what I have here is I have the fresh off the presses anime 5e book this is a anime inspired dungeons and dragons book and i just, i'm super excited for it i saw it come on to kickstarter and i had to get it because it mixes two of my favorite things and those are anime and dungeons and dragons and I, I'm thinking I'm gonna, you know, let you guys take a look at it. I have not seen what it comes with, so I'm pulling everything out of the envelope now. I don't really know what that is. Oh, is it a bookmark? Oh, it is a bookmark. Oh, the other side doesn't look like a bookmark, but yeah, yeah just let, let everybody know I have uh, fill up my podcast partner um, off camera, and he's gonna be, you know, chiming in every once in a while. Here is. Yeah, the bookmark comment that was uh, that that brought a lot to the content because I didn't know what this was, but he was seeing the back, and you guys were seeing the back, and I was looking at this common measurements by rank table here. So bookmark, uh, we have a sticker. This book belongs to, and then an anime five E thing. So stickers are always nice. Everybody likes stickers, right? Like yeah, stickers are cool. <clears throat> stickers. You can stick them on things. Brings us back to the old pediatrician days when you'd go there and you'd get a sticker afterwards or a lollipop or something, or both, if you had a really cool pediatrician. This is a character folio. So I guess this must be character sheets. And oh, I can I don't think I'd be able to bring myself to actually write on any of these. I wonder if they have printable copies. They probably have printable copies where I'd be able to print out new ones and not have to tear out of their beautiful book here. Oh, it's interesting. There's like spell sheets. So it's a little different from what, if anybody is familiar with what 5e typically looks like, it looks different from that. I mean, I know that's probably like a copyright thing, so they probably have to make it look a certain amount different. But the book is really cool. Uh, your, fantasy, your fantasy anime and manga characters can't be expected to keep all their notes on random pieces of parchment. They deserve their own anime 5e character folio. They do deserve that. I, I believe so. And what is this? Introductory primer. It's got the little infinity symbol there. Not sure what that means, but this looks like a goblin. Goblins. That's a very D and D standby there. This is like XP's. Oh, this must be like, like a quick start guide. Yeah, it's a quick start. Um and there's some dungeon masters kind of stuff in here with XP and stuff. Um so just basic stuff ranks and such character attributes things like that and oh this is this what i think it is it is a poster that's gonna go up on my wall let's see what it looks like a dragon. is a dragon are they in a dungeon maybe maybe yeah i think they're in a dungeon and it's a dragon so I love posters. I love when people include posters. I don't like when they're included like this, though. This is, if I'm going to do a criticism, I don't like when they fold them up because then, you know, now they're going to be all creased. And no matter what I do, it's always going to be creased. And there's nothing I can do to fix it. And I don't like things that I can do nothing to fix them. And let's look at the book. This is what it goes for. Ooh, it's glossy. It's nice. What do you think of the artwork? I like it. Um... Kind of, I mean, it gives off like its own art style, and it's not super, um, you know, it's not super copycatty. Yeah, it doesn't lean into like the Dungeons and Dragons aesthetic. It's more of like the anime manga aesthetic. And oh, let's see some stuff in here. So we have, um, I'm gonna do a more in depth review of this when I get a chance to actually kind of like look through, but. Just kind of looking at this, the artwork is very consistent going through. There's, you know, so different. There's the half troll, the half dragon. There's there's a cat, an anime cat girl. There's a snake person. There's got to be an anime cat girl, 
or the the men of uh, VR chat would be very upset. There's the anime cat girl. <clears throat> um, the guy with blades, who is a parasite, which I guess is referring to the anime parasite, probably. Uh, a satyr. Nice little drunken goat guy. You could be a slime. Like that time I was reincarnated as a slime, which looks very similar to the, the, the character from time I was reincarnated as a slime. There are wee folk. There are, there's a lot of different things in here. Like, ooh, you can be a gray, which just looks like an alien. If you just want to be an alien, you can be an alien. Um, and a fairy. If you want to live out your, like, Lisa Frank fantasies. Or your uh, Sword Art Online yeah. season, what is season two, I guess, yeah. right? Um, Blink Beast and Demonog Demonaga. And the Blink Beast. That's interesting. It's a, kind of like a Minotaur kind of thing. This also looks kind of like a fairy, but... And an Archfiend. There's a lot of interesting interesting things. They definitely kind of... <laughs> Phones happen sometimes. The It definitely went away from the typical aesthetic of... The Dungeons and Dragons. They didn't stick with any of the races. It's not like they did fantasy or anime re kind of imaginings of dwarves or anything like that, which is kind of cool. So, like I said, I will do a more in depth review of this once I get a chance to actually kind of like look through everything, see how it is mechanically. But there's definitely some cool stuff in here. And I'm like, ooh, this kind of looks like, um, oh, what's his name? Momo is his name from. Uh, I can't remember his name from Avatar: The Last Airbender. This that little guy, I think it's Momo, um, and yeah, it's definitely really cool. I'm super excited to jump into this and either have someone run a campaign or run my own campaign. I kind of want to run a campaign out of this. I, I have a D and D group that's a regular D and D group, and I think this would be a cool change of pace. So if you want to see more of this D and D content or unboxing content, then Definitely let me know down in the comments below. Oh, this cool. There's new classes and everything. Let me know in the comments down below. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of the new content that we have going forward. There's a lot of stuff that's going to be happening going forward. Ring that notification bell so you know what's up. And I will catch you in the next one, everybody.